Alrighty, it is Wednesday the 5th of May 2021. It's day 41 of the underground, all the ones. Uh, but I'm here outside of Greenwich and today I'm running the Emirates cable car, as you can tell right behind me. The cable car length from here over to Victoria Docks, it is a kilometre exactly, but to run it is a whole other different circumstance in itself. And it's because, in case if you're not familiar, if you've been watching my underground videos, you know that East London in particular has a weird habit of not having any bridges across the river. So it just makes the whole thing 10 times more difficult. Here's the thing, I always have a routing thing on my watch, so I always know where it is that I'm going, but I wanted to set myself the challenge to run from here over to Royal Victoria, Victoria Docks, without using any routing stuff. So basically, can I get from one side of the cable car to the other without taking public transport? Obviously. Or checking my watch or phone for directions. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Right? So first of all, I want to go towards the river. That's probably the most ideal place to start. Now before we get started with today's run, it's worth clarifying. What exactly is the cable car? Well, the Emirates Airline, as it's formerly known, was built in 2012, spanning from North Greenwich over to Royal Victoria, or Victoria Docks. Now, why exactly was it built? Um, I don't actually know. Like, genuinely, I don't know. Anyway, as I was doing this without using any routing apps, I knew that I had one of two options to cross the river. I could either head east and use the Woolwich Foot Tunnel, or I could head west and use the Greenwich Foot Tunnel. Now, I know more of the Greenwich sort of area, so naturally, I headed towards Greenwich Foot Tunnel. What's the purpose of me doing this? What I feel like is if it's almost like a form of glorified social commentary. See, what I don't understand with East London is just a lack of crossings for pedestrians and cyclists. I spoke about this when I did the DLR. I know that there was a proposed plan from Rotherhithe over to Canary Wharf. There was meant to be a planned bridge then, but that hasn't obviously come to fruition yet. So at this point, I still need to go all the way down to Greenwich, then across the foot tunnel, and then all the way back along the other side, passing Canary Wharf, and still not a single bridge in sight. Feels like two universes that have one moment you're going through, but it feels a bit dingy, and then next thing you know, boom, sudden developments. It's quite jarring, actually. <laughs> I'm half a mile away from the Greenwich Foot Tunnel, so that is a good sign I'm going in the right direction. Just as a tidbit, if you'd seen my Swim to Ground video, in Underground, I'm happy to announce the brand new Swim to Ground. It was actually this little beach here where I filmed it. Why did the runner cross the tunnel? Because they're a idiot. Okay, so some fresh air. It's all the way back through the side to get to Victoria Dock. There's another tidbit to do with the cable car, and that's obviously the partnership with Emirates. Back in 2011, Emirates had signed a partnership with TFL Cable Car, and hence all the sponsorship regarding like Emirates Airline and that kind of stuff. Now that contract is due to expire in October of this year. So I'm curious as to whether they extend it or if it fully goes back into TFL's ownership and if it's just branded as cable car or if it still retains airline, I don't know. So just got to this point here where the path is blocked by some development. 
so now I just need to figure out how to get back to the river but I don't know this area and the whole part of the challenge is that I can't check my maps or anything so I'm a bit concerned. And then, ah, this path, okay. So I'm at this uh, little dead end here, because at this point you get a view of the Thames, the O2, you get a great view of Canary Wharf here as well. It just feels very moody at the minute, given the fact that it's cloudy, it feels very, very moody. All the moods. The common theme of doing this run so far is that you run along the docks for a bit, then it stops, then you have to do a little detour, then you get back onto the path, then it cuts off again and it's just, just a massive pain, but now I don't know how the hell it is you get out. How do you get out? And it's just started raining. Quite heavy, actually. <laughs> it's a bit of a, a bit of a change since the since the last time we were here. Wait, so the sun's coming out now, but it's still raining. What is going on? So where I am right now is East India Dock Basin. These docks in particular are Grade 2 listed, which I had no idea about. So I stumbled across Trinity Boy Wharf. Seems to be like a little entertainment thing with like a cafe, music stuff, food, whatever. I don't think I'm meant to be here though. <laughs> I, I don't know where I'm meant to be going. I'm like so close, but yet so far. I think what I'll do, I'll follow the DLR for a bit and then cut across from Canning Town over to Royal Victoria. I think that's probably the most feasible, but this is proven harder than anticipated. This is tough. <laughs> The station entrance of Cannon Town Tube Station and DLR. So I'm very close now to the finish of running the cable car. All right, so there is the end of the cable car. Woohoo! Just made it to the other side. And the cable car, do you know what, I've not checked my watch for pretty much the entire route. So let's go and uh, take a look. Holy <laughs> Oh my God. So the cable car is one kilometre in total, right? But to run it, it's 14.18 kilometres. <laughs> What the f That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, what are my thoughts on running the Emirates airline, you might ask? Well, simply put, East London needs more crossings, specifically pedestrian crossings. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, the Silvertown Tunnel is currently being constructed However, pedestrian and cycle access has not been incorporated into its development. And considering there's a now defunct plan of the Rotherhide Bridge, even though property developments are still ongoing along the docks, it's crying out for easier access between the two sides of London. Now, sure thing, you can catch public transport, even the riverboat services. Fair enough, right? But not every person has the financial privilege of doing that. And so if you're reliant on using your bike or you plan on running between the sides of London, traveling between the two is no easy feat. 
no pun intended. Now, a lot of it, though, does boil down to TFL's finances, and for what I've gathered online, they would prefer to open a bridge from Rotherhithe to Canary Wharf. However, it's just not currently feasible, so they may introduce a fast ferry service as a temporary measure. I'll be curious as to what pans out in the future, but the future are pedestrian crossings. Anyway, thank you very much for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Now, I only have two modes left to run in London until I'll have ran the entire London tube map. I've got Thameslink and TFL Rail, Elizabeth Line remaining. And so make sure you do subscribe if you haven't already so you can be the first to know when I drop a new video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time for Underground.